Prince Harry's fiancée Meghan Markle delighted fans yesterday by wearing a £45 Marks and Spencer sweater. The wool blend, round neck bell sleeve sweater quickly sold out last night, providing a much needed boost to the high street giant. The US actress, who wore a £56,000 dress for her engagement photos, chose the modest high street look as she accompanied the fifth in line to the throne on a visit to a radio station in Brixton, South London. With her hair up casually, she teamed it with a £585 Camel Brando coat, by Canadian brand Smythe, old Barbary trousers and a jigsaw scarf. Meghan, won plaudits for her understated look on a visit to the radio station representing the deprived, predominantly black neighborhood. The royal bride-to-be was hailed by an excited crowd, and blew kisses to screaming fans. During a light-hearted exchange radio station manager Adrian Newman, told Harry they had a question for him. She answers the questions, Harry shot back. She and Harry had asked to visit the radio station, which has been operating in Brixton for 15 years. In a week that has seen the BBC's China editor Carrie Gracie resign over its gender pay gap, Harry and Meghan spoke out in favor of equality. They met Shells, a disc jockey who is studying to be a doctor. He has become a champion of women's rights, and said later he was spun that Meghan introduced herself, and said she had heard about his passion for gender equality. Meghan said, I think your attitude is incredible. Good for you. Harry added, as males we have to do our part or it's not going to work. DJ Ramya Daremi, got Harry to have a go at her trademark fist pump involving complicated handed gestures, while another DJ, Giovanni Letford, cheekily slipped Harry his business card in the hope the couple might be looking for someone to play music, at their wedding in Windsor, on May 19. The station has nurtured talent including grime star Stormzy, and its training program for young talent has helped more than 4,000 young people so far, with another 3,000 on the waiting list. Outside the crowd raved about Meghan after the couple, who stayed an hour and 10 minutes, 25 minutes longer than expected went on a brief walk about to chat to fans. Foster carer Charlie Watson, who had braved the cold for hours, said, it's good to see Meghan in Brixton. Hopefully, she will want to help areas like it. Also there were American students Jennifer Martinez and Millicent Sassu, from Baltimore. Jennifer said, she's black, she's white, she's an actress, she's American. She brings a bit of everything and has so many different qualities. She brings such a lot to the table. Meghan has closed down her Instagram, Twitter and Facebook accounts, because they haven't been used for some time, Kensington Palace said. In December she had 1.9 million followers on Instagram, 350,000 on Twitter, and 800,000 likes for her Facebook page.